This time last year, E3 2015, we were talking about, for the first time, uh, Battlezone on PlayStation VR. Uh, this time, a year later, we've got a lot more work that's gone in, got a ton of exciting things to show people, and very interested to hear the feedback. So the look of the game has evolved a lot since a lot of people last saw it. It's still faceted, it's still very polygonal, but it has a lot more fidelity and clarity, a lot more visual effects and a lot more detail. We kind of want that retro look, but we want to bring it in a modern way with modern processes and techniques and rendering techniques. So since the last demo, the cockpit has just been actually been totally remade. Uh, we wanted to make it more sort of tangible, more believable, uh, with realistic sized and scaled elements to it. But above and beyond anything, it has to support the HUD, the visual HUD that the player is looking at so very much it's kind of works like wallpaper there's a lot of things you'll look at but actually once you're playing the game you'll focus on the things that are giving you information this time around we've really made it much more state-of-the-art it's more spacious we've got more screens more detail on the screens we've opened up the views so you've got much better view outside of your cockpit as well so uh, all in all uh, you know you're feeling like you're driving the most badass tank now So yeah, actually one of the things that we did kind of improve that I thought it was critical from feedback from the first to, to the second demo was uh, actually adding the controller being rendered in the game, which is something that we got feedback from people who use uh, VR but they haven't really played games uh, previously that much. Uh, they couldn't really see the buttons in the controller and they didn't understand which ones uh, w was doing it, what kind of missions. So rendering the controller on the screen being able to see it as you are in the VR uh, headset and uh, allowing the player to know which patterns uh, perform what functions were really, really important. I think it actually looks really cool as well in the game. I think the, the, one of the, the new kind of uh, enemies that we added to the second demo that made a big difference was the uh, Hopper, which is this kind of flying, nimble kind of enemy. Uh, interesting for the people who are 2000 AD fans, the Hoppers are derived from a design uh, in Rogue Trooper. Uh, the Rogue Trooper series, um, and that's why we call them Hoppers, because they're sort of taken out of that comic book series. So the Hoppers are there to require the player to switch their attention between things which are literally flying over their head, attacking them from above, as well as to the side. The natural way that you glance from side to side, quickly assess where the threats are, and then focus on the most important. That's one of the ways in which Battlezone is exploiting what VR can do in gameplay terms. The two main weapons that we offer to the player are essentially the same, although the machine gun uh, is, is more sophisticated now in that it's using, using actual ballistics for its missiles, whereas previously it was just using line of sight impact effects. Uh, so it's, it's a lot more satisfying and fun and physical to use. Um, but probably the most obvious big change or the new thing we've added is the EMP weapon, which at the end of the demo, uh, you have to use it to obliterate everything in the environment and bring it crashing to the ground. Environmental variability is really important. So we've created uh, landscape types uh, and the game takes place in lots of different types of landscape. They're, they're broadly sort of cyber looking and they riff off the sort of cyber world, Tron world, uh, original Battlezone world quite well. This is a really cutting edge technology. Not many companies have it. There are no games out there that we can go to and look at and compare. And this is the benchmark and we need to be here. We see a lot of stuff in isolation. The press get to see a lot of other people's games. And they're the, kind of like the first people who can actually gauge VR games against other VR games. And we're coming out really positive. So that kind of really you know, heartens us and makes us feel like we're doing something right, something positive. VR is a way of us showing uh, a video game and that video game's got to be good and it will be good in 2D or 3D or VR or whatever type of game. That's, that's the idea. We don't want to make a game that's a gimmick. It's a really good VR experience and really exciting, but Rebellion is set up to make great games and this is a great game.
Yeah.